welcome again now in this lecture in this video we'll derive the relationship for the effectiveness and tu method for counter flow heat exchangers now again in this case we are assuming that hot fluid as a fluid with minimum heat capacity right so which means c minimum will be mh cph right so the q actual in this case will be mh cph TCI, THI minus THE for the hot side and it will be equal to for the cold side. Right? So we'll mark this as one. Similarly, C will be MHCPH upon MCCPC which is C minimum by C maximum. We will mark this as Now effectiveness in this case will be THI minus TCE upon THI minus TCI. Right? So from here epsilon will be THI minus TCI is equal to THI minus THE and from here I'll get TCI as THI minus THI by epsilon plus THE by epsilon right the same result we got in case of parallel flow and similarly we'll take this equation and we'll get C is equal to TCE minus TH TCI upon THI minus THE from this energy balance equations right so from here I'll get C times THI minus C times THE will be equal to TCE so from here the TCE will be TCI plus minus of th so tci is this so tce will be thi minus of thi by epsilon plus the by epsilon plus c times thi minus c times the so we mark this as four right now the difference from the last derivation and this derivation is the values of delta ti and delta te let's see what's the difference so here delta ti in this case is thi minus tce this is the difference thi minus tce right so we have the value of tce is this 
so i'll put delta ti is thi minus this term right so this will cancel out i left with thi will be minus sign comes on so this will become positive this will become negative so we will write it as thi by epsilon this will be minus of c times thi then again this will be minus of thi by epsilon this will be plus of c times thi so i'll i take 1 by epsilon minus c common out of it i'll get this and from here again i'll get this so delta ti will be 1 by epsilon minus c times thi minus thi right so this will be let's say number 5 right and now if you solve it for delta te which is nothing but if you see here it is nothing but the minus tci so i'll put the minus tci and tci is what tci is this so it will be delta te is minus of thi plus thi by epsilon minus the by epsilon right so from here i'll get delta te as if i club this so it will be 1 by epsilon minus 1 of this and here i'll get 1 by epsilon minus of 1 is delta te so delta te will be 1 minus epsilon minus 1 of right so mark this as six right so what i am going to do now is the actual rate of heat transfer will be will be what will be q actual which is mh cph thi minus the will be equal to u a of delta t m in case of counter flow because we are doing the derivation of counter flow right so from here this will be the minimum value right so we can write it as u a by c minimum and here we have delta t i minus delta t e upon ln of delta t i by delta t e right so this is what end you so i'll get t h i minus t h e of ln of delta t 
i by delta t e is n t u times delta t i minus delta t e right so if i put the values of delta t i and delta t e which is this if i put these values of delta t i and delta t e and this so i'll solve it as T H I minus T H E ln of delta T I is what? 1 minus epsilon C by epsilon and 1 is delta T E which is 1 minus epsilon by epsilon. Right? Because both the temperatures will cancel out. So, epsilon epsilon will also cancel out in this case and on that side we will have 1 by epsilon minus epsilon c by epsilon minus 1 by epsilon plus epsilon by epsilon right this is the term so this will cancel out this will cancel out and this will cancel out right so what I am getting then this side is is and of course the temperatures are there common so this will be th i minus t h e so this will also cancel out so i'll get ln of 1 minus epsilon c by 1 minus epsilon of n t u i'll get 1 minus c on this side so again i'll shifting this logarithmic to this side so it will be 1 minus epsilon c will be e to the power of n to 1 minus c right and this is the term so I'll get this down and this on this side so I'll get 1 minus epsilon c of e d power n t u 1 minus c is 1 minus epsilon right so on this side I'll get e to the power minus of n t u 1 minus c of 1 minus is 1 minus upside like this so I multiply this here and I multiply this so I will get as n to 1 minus c minus of 1 this one comes this side and this will go and that side so I will get minus epsilon plus c epsilon c e to the power of minus n t u 1 minus c right so from here if I take the reciproc uh, minus sign eliminate on this side so I'll do 1 minus e to the power of n t u 1 minus c is epsilon common 1 minus c e to the power of minus n t u 1 minus c right so from here 
the epsilon will be 1 minus NTU 1 minus C upon 1 minus C sorry this is not under brackets right so it will be e to the power of n minus of n t u 1 minus c so this is the relation in case of counter flow heat exchanger effectiveness in case of counter flow heat exchanger so this is the end of this n2 methods in the next coming videos we'll try to solve the numerical based upon this effectiveness n2 concept and how this is useful where where lmtd method is not going to use uh, is not try to solve those kind of numericals by which we can solve this by this method so thank you again for this video right so in the next lecture we'll do the numerical based upon this methods that is effectiveness and method